the Grand Tour to Batumi in the former Soviet state of Georgia. was on the shores of the Black Sea, and naturally enough, James May was the last to arrive in the new BMW 8 Series. God, it doesn't look anything like as good in the flash as it does in the pictures. It, it is disappointing in the metal. I'm afraid that's the case. And brown! What? Brown! It's sunburst orange. May, that's a brown car. It's sunburst orange as well. It is brown! Orange. And it looks very like a Toyota. Is no, it, it doesn't. On delivery wheels, are they specially for delivering it? What are you talking no, about? No, those little wheels is, that they yeah, can yeah, move yeah, it around that's what on. I mean, that's what I mean. Yeah. Well, they're not big enough, are they? Can it's you have a 22 inch wheel? No. Why not? Well, why would you want a 22 inch wheel? Because they spoil would, the ride. It would fill the arches. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! And I suspect. <coughs> criminal offence. What? Anyone who puts an M badge on a BMW that isn't an M BMW has to go to prison. So this is this is one of those M cars that isn't an M car. They've done that, car, is it? No, it's not the M8. That well, why comes does it say later. M on it? Because it's the M Sport, in effect. So it? M it's not Sport a just means not an M, doesn't yeah. it? But it's in between the M and the normal cars. That's why you have M Sport 5 series, for example. M. This is like Elton John's Greatest Hits, without your song or Tommy Lee Dancer on it. James, I don't want to be childish about this now, but I hate... Do you not? I hate But your, you're going to. I hate your gear leaf. I love it. <laughs> Look at it. I think that's fantastic. Yes. And the rest, it's horrible gear lever in a boring interior. That's contemporary and tasteful. Let's have a look at yours. What have you got? Is, oh, you've got oh, the new yeah, Bentley that's the same Bentley. as the old Bentley. Uh, apart from being a completely new car. Yeah, but it looks the same. It doesn't look the same. It's a completely different front end, different size. Oh, no, it looks like an Aventador. No. It's a completely new car. This monochrome Union Jack applied by Germans. Yes. There is, <laughs> there is some German in chassis. German. Yeah. Engine? Yeah. German? Yeah. Oh no! The Germans have done all the tech and engineering! That'll ne no wait, it'll be brilliant. <laughs> well, it's a bit. It's I use the word advice, it's a bit camp. That is a it's special. Camp. It is. What's camp about it's all that? Pleated and leathery and. Oh, it does I give mean, good occasion, though. That is a special event. Does Liberace pop up out of the centre console and play the piano for you? <laughs> You see, the reason I'm not having a go at your interior is my Aston has been delivered with Birmingham spec. That's horrible. Ooh, that's quite vivid, isn't it? I mean, I, I, worryingly for you, I quite, I quite like that. It's, you Ooh. like that, exactly. So this is, um, it's a DB11. No, well, no, it's the DBS. Super Leggero. Because it's very light, isn't it? Is it? That's what Super Leggero means, yeah? It's 72 kilograms lighter than a DB11. And what? no more expensive. Well, it's a bit more expensive. How much more expensive? It's 67,000 pounds more yes. than a DB11. And how much is it? A lot. Is it something like a quarter of a million pounds? No. What is it then? It's a bit less. 230? A bit less. 225? Yes. Mine's £100,000. It's contemporary and it's modern. There's no good saying, oh, it looks Japanese, as if that's a slur. The no, Japanese advanced no, the car bit, massively in the last century. Eventually, we decided to stop arguing and drive from here on the Black Sea, right through Georgia and Azerbaijan, to the Caspian for a nice piece of grilled green. on this journey. I mean, I've seen the Grand Prix from Azerbaijan and I've seen Borat. Mm, which is it? I don't know what the roads are going to be like. I mean, should we be doing this in pickup trucks or tanks? I mean, this is the fall of Soviet Union. Look it, but it is. Whatever. The roads at this point were fine. So, we could get to know our cars. The question I really want to answer on this journey is this. How can the DBS be worth £67,000 more than the DB11 when, from where I'm sitting, they appear to be exactly the same? At first, you're forced to say, well, it isn't. This 
interior simply isn't good enough in a £225,000 car, just not even close. You look at the Bentley and you go, that is an interior. It's chintzy, but it's fabulous.